I bought a uh, a uh, Hudson. This is just a cheap eight dollar uh, garden sprayer. It comes with a tank. It had all these extra fittings. Probably not going to use most of that stuff really. So the only thing I'm really going to use out of this is the is the pump and this fitting right here. This was eight eight dollars for all this. I bought a bar uh, a T fitting a barb fitting. Uh, I think it's a quarter inch all the way around. And I bought oh about ten feet of uh, this is a a quarter inch inside diameter, three eighths outside diameter tubing. I think this was like forty nine cents a foot. So I don't know about five bucks worth of tubing. And uh, so that's what I'm gonna do. It's real simple to make. I'm going to take this fitting here. This, uh, this is how it came. Came. There's there's this fitting that came with it. It's where your hose goes. This. So this is going to slide down there. Pops on. And then take your hose and you just stick it on the barb here, like so. You just stick it on the barb. So inside you got your tube. That's uh, pretty much bottomed out in there. Take suction here, and then you take um, this fitting. And this slide, I'm going to slide that, slide that over the tube, and basically screw this down right here. So let me get to the end of this. Probably should have put this on first. I bought this this tubing because originally it came with the really short black hose. And I want a much longer one from my pressure bleeding. So you just tighten this bad boy down. Okay. Well, this side's pretty much ready. Now I just got to take the pump. The pump will go here, but I'm going to leave this loose now. And you just tighten that down and you can pump it up. But uh, this end. Let me show you how this end. This ends since on my uh, master cylinder I have two caps on it. I got to put a T and T off it so I can screw screw a lid down to both caps. But next I'm going to put my uh, quarter inch barb fitting on there. Let me do that real quick. That's about as far as I can push that thing on. Got to push it on to about there. So my tank's pretty much ready. Got that coming out onto here. I made this, and this is just a. I bought a tire valve, a radiator cap, and a radiator seal, a rubber piece. I basically cut a hole in the rubber piece drilled a hole in the top of this and this t these tire stems they come with the washers and the rods threaded so you can I s stuck this up up through the cap and tightened this down and ha tightened that down nice and snug I had the bottom of the uh, tire valve going through the seal tighten that down real good and I just put a little silicone around around everything a little silicone squirted down there when I mushed everything down uh, should make a pretty good seal and I mean that's just a, a tire valve I actually took the Schrader valve out with some pliers needle nose small needle nose but as you can see I mean that's a tire stem but those little valves 
they unscrew and I don't know if you can see this or not but you can see through the you know see right through that see took the Schrader valve out it's just a fitting now and that quarter inch uh, quarter inch inside diameter 3 8 outside diameter diameter tubing fits over this Schrader valve real good it's like a really tight seal so uh, that's why I decided to do this but all in all I mean buying buying this was about eight bucks the tubing was about five bucks these Dorman caps were like uh, I think three bucks the tire stems were like two dollars came in a kit of two and I already had silicone and uh, so I mean I mean all in all this whole kit probably cost me like 20 bucks but uh, I'm gonna finish putting this together real quick I'm gonna put my hose on here and go to a T and I'll show you guys the whole setup it was real simple the hardest part was making this I mean it was like you had to drill a hole and silicone let it sit overnight to dry but uh, all in all not too bad hopefully it'll work good and push that fitting right on see if it fits real tight I'm going to try to do one just to show you. Actually, I need I need two hands, but that's the idea. You just slip it on over. And just work it down. It takes a lot of pressure. But that's pretty much it. I mean I gotta push it down a little more and I need two hands for that because it's hard to push. But that's the idea. Well, this here is my pressure sprayer. Just made the tube and it comes up to this T. And I got my two uh fittings from a master cylinder. I'm going to fill that up full of brake fluid and give it a shot. 